What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 39 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us two functions and tells us to find the value of x where the graphs of these two functions intersect. Now the big skills that this question tests are actually two different ways of solving it. One is to find the intersection or find the solution in your calculator. The other is to treat it like an equation with variables on both sides and solve it that way. I'm going to go over both methods here. To start with, for the calculator method, I press my y equals button to get to this screen. I have gone ahead and typed my f of x function into y1 and my g of x function into y2. So I now have 3x plus 7 and 2x plus 12 right there. And I'm going to press graph here. And I can clearly see where these hit. Only thing is I don't know exactly what numbers those are. So if you remember my earlier uh, video on the question about the quadratic graph and the line intersecting, you'll probably guess how I'm going to do this. I'm, I see calc above my trace button. I press second and calc, or second and trace. I go down until I find intersect. I can only move left or right now, not up or down. And I go along my first curve until I get close. Second curve, guess. Just keep pressing enter until it gives me x is 5, y is 22. Now the question was asking for the value of x. This is a trick answer. I don't want 22 because that's the y value. I want 5, the x value. So that's choice C right there. But I am going to solve this the other way. And the other way is to treat this like an equation with variables on both sides and just set it up as 3x plus 7 equals... 2x plus 12, because I'm still solving for x, it's still going to give me a value of x. So this is a perfectly valid mathematical way of doing this. So I'll go ahead and get, and use my Volnor trick, get all my variables on the left to start with. So I see 2x on the right, I'll remind myself that it's positive, and subtract 2x, subtract 2x, plus 2x and minus 2x cancel out. And 3x minus 2x gives me 1x, also known as x. And now, I want to finish Volnor by getting my numbers on the right. I see plus 7 on the left, and I don't want it there, so I'm going to subtract 7. Subtract 7. Plus 7 and minus 7 cancel. 12 minus 7 is 5. So I end up with 1x equals 5. This is the same number I got from doing this in my calculator. So if you see a question like this, keep those two methods in your back pocket. And if you have time, I know these tests are really long and horrific, but if you have time, maybe try both methods just to make sure that you got it right.